So we're outside the Timwall buildings here today on a Monday and uh, another silent protest by Hamid Zalaman is taking place. And as you can see from this picture, they're just walking down past the government buildings and in their hands are some cupcakes, also some letters to various MHKs. Now they've been greeted by, uh, I think, uh, four MHKs down there who are going to accept the cupcakes and uh, also uh, some letters. But first of all, one of the handmaids uh, did talk to us to outline again what they're standing for and what this was about today. We're here today to encourage um, people to get in touch with their MHKs and express their views about abortion reform. Obviously, everybody's completed the consultation. Their views are very welcome. But we think it is important that they also express directly to their MHKs as they will be the people, along with the MLCs, who will be voting on this bill. So after that, we talked to Claire Bettison, MHK, who's seconding the new abortion bill that Dr Alex Allenson's proposing. This is what she had to say. Yes, yeah, so I seconded Dr Allenson getting permission, leave to introduce um, the introduce abortion bill, and I'll now be seconding the bill when that comes through Tim Ward. So I think it's a really strong message that we're getting from both the pro and anti lobbies and for me the, the difference there is it's a pro-choice lobby and it's an anti-abortion and I think actually we're possibly having two different discussions there. So what have you been given here today? So I've agreed to circulate letters to all members on behalf of the handmaids today and they've also brought some some cakes obviously urging us to vote for reform which I think is long overdue on the Isle of Man. Do you think it's going to get an easy ride through? I don't think anything should have an easy ride and it needs to be up for appropriate scrutiny. I think that's absolutely vital. But what I wouldn't want to see is the bill taken to pieces so much that's happened previously with bills of this nature and actually ended up with something that's completely inappropriate and doesn't solve the problems that we have here, which is essentially that women don't have the right access to health care on this island to get an abortion. I don't think that's right. It's an uh, issue now that means that if you've got more money, you have more access to services and how can that be morally right in this day and age?